So workspaces is something that we're really excited about. Workspaces is a feature that introduces isolated compute instances that are able to operate across shared databases. This is super powerful because by attaching databases to multiple different workspaces, you can easily power different workloads and applications without the fear of one impacting another. So databases can be attached to multiple workspaces simultaneously while maintaining the low latency and highly concurrent access that single store DB is known for. So typically our customers, you know, have a number of different workloads that they're running uh, on specific data sets. Uh, that could be a customer facing application. Uh, it could be internal reporting or internal health monitoring. And all of these different applications need to use that core data in order to function. Uh, but that puts a burden on the customer. The customer is forced to move data between different data systems and different silos and try to keep that in sync uh, as they're operating all of their different workloads internally. With workspaces, because you're able to operate different workloads off the same shared data sets, uh, you don't have to worry about costly or um, complex ETL between different storage systems. Um, you can have one copy of the data and you can power multiple applications concurrently off of that data. So it gives you flexibility, uh, but it also kind of reduces overall complexity and expense. So now customers can easily launch multiple workspaces. Uh, maybe they wanna do reporting jobs that run off of a customer facing application that they have, uh, and they can know that they can spin up that reporting, uh, they can run it, uh, they can turn it off when they're not using it. Uh, and they know that a, a query on the reporting side um, or uh, an influx of you know, customer demand on the application side uh, aren't gonna have an effect on any of the other jobs that they're running on separate workspaces. So Workspace is, a, is unique. Some other databases offer flexibility to kind of operate on data from different workloads, uh, but they typically do it at the cost of either performance uh, or they require complex data movement and management between different systems. So Workspaces automates all this while also providing low latency and high performance while you're doing it. So you get the real-time aspects of single store DB without having the extra complexity of managing data between different deployments. I'm gonna do a demo of the workspaces and workspace group features. So you can see I'm logged into the single store DB cloud portal and I've already created a workspace group in GCP Virginia. And I've got two workspaces that are running in that workspace group. I've got prod workspace 01 and prod workspace 02. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect to the SQL editor. And I'll connect to my prod workspace 01. And I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and create a new database called foo. So that database is going to create and automatically attach to the workspace group that I have selected. Okay, that database is created. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So now I've got workspace 01 attached to the database foo. I'm gonna um, create a table in that database. And then I'll show the tables that are uh, attached to it. So I've got my new table here that I've created. So if I go back to the workspace group, I can see that the prod workspace 01 is connected to that database foo and it's a read-write attachment to that database. So I'm gonna go back to the SQL editor and I'm gonna take a look at Workspace 02. And I'll see that uh, Workspace 02 has information schema, um, but it doesn't have an attachment to database foo. Um, so if I do show databases, I can see that I don't have foo uh, here from that workspace. So I'll go ahead and um, I'll attach that database to uh, prod workspace 02. So I'm gonna attach it. I'll connect foo as read only and save that attachment. And now you can see this database is attached as read only to workspace two uh, and read write to workspace one still. So I'll go back into the SQL editor here and I'll select foo and I'll um, show the tables within Foo. You can see that my new table is now visible from this prod workspace 02. Uh, and if I um, drop this table, let's do drop table, uh, my new table. 
you can see that uh, I don't have access to drop this table because it's a read-only workspace. So this shows you the ability to connect uh, one database um, to multiple workspaces. I could obviously have many databases here uh, connect in read-write and read uh, attachments to multiple workspaces. Uh, and this allows you to run many different applications on shared data sets um, while managing isolation between the different workloads.